English examination, grade nine. B. The first forty-five minute test. Test one. Part one. You will hear three people describing where they live. Listen and match the speakers one to three to the place where they live, A to C. I guess you've got a bit more space. The air's fresher. We still live close enough to the city to go in at the weekend, but there aren't any local shops near my house. There isn't a lot going on where I live either. I work in the city, and I have to spend an hour on the train getting to the office, so I'm too tired to cook when I get home. Everybody thinks I have friendly neighbors who I see every day, but there's no one else my age nearby. If I go out at night, I can't get home because there's no public transport. I'm not sure there's much fresh air either. The farmer next door puts some strong chemicals on the fields in summer. I love my school, though. Everyone says it must be really expensive living here. There are really high rents where I live, but I save money on other things. I take public transport everywhere. My little flat is so small, and my heating bills are tiny. I live in a lively neighborhood. I know the people who run the cafe downstairs, so I can go in any time I fancy a chat. Part two. Listen to the passage and circle A, B, or C to complete the sentences. Every Sunday, Lan often gets up early to cycle around the lake near her house. After that, she has some bread with omelette or a bowl of noodles, and then goes to the English club to take part in some English activities. Last Sunday morning, Lan went to the supermarket with her mother to do some shopping. Because Lan gets good marks at her midterm exam, and she likes eating pancakes very much, so her mother decided to make some pancakes for her. Her mother bought half a dozen eggs, a bottle of cooking oil, a kilo of sugar, half a kilo of flour, and some vegetables. She also bought three kilos of oranges and apples. She often tells Lan that fresh fruit is good for health. She didn't forget to buy Lan a bar of chocolate and a packet of biscuits. She bought a lot of other food for the whole week, so Lan helped her bring them home. Test two. Part one. You will hear a student asking the social organizer of his school for information about organized trips. Listen and complete the notes below using no more than three words and/or a number for each answer. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? I understand that the school organizes um trips to different. Yes, we run five trips every month, three during weekends and two Wednesday afternoon trips. What sort of places? It varies, but always places of historical interest, and also which offer a variety of shopping. Then we go for ones where we know there are guided tours, because this gives a good focus for the visit. Do you travel far? Well, our visits are less than three hours' drive. How much do they cost? Between five and fifteen pounds a head, depending on distance. Aha! Oh, and we do offer to arrange special trips if there are more than twelve people. And what are the times normally? We leave at eight thirty a.m. and return at six p.m. We figure it's best to keep the day fairly short. And how do we reserve a place? 
You sign your name on the notice board three days in advance. Do you know where it is? Aha.、Uh -huh. I saw it this morning. Part two. Listen to the passage and decide if the statements are true or false. The big problem for plane manufacturers in the future is the size of the aeroplanes, not their speed, because the skies are already full of air traffic. Some countries are planning to make new superplanes and reduce the number of planes in the skies. Those new planes will be much bigger than the planes we see today. They will be able to carry up to eight hundred people at one time. At the moment, a billion people travel on airplanes a year, but this number will be a lot higher by the year 2020. The best way to avoid traffic jam in the skies is to build bigger planes. Plane manufacturers are working to turn their designs into real superplanes. Ten years from now, we may possibly be traveling on a superplane for the first time. Test three. Part one. Listen to a friend talking about stress. Choose the correct answer: A, B, or C. I want to talk about beating stress today. You know, life here in Hong Kong is very stressful. So I think today's topic is very useful for everyone because we can do something about it, just to cope with the stress. So maybe you make some changes in your life, maybe big changes or small changes. But instead of being afraid, I think you should have a positive attitude. And think of change as a normal part of life. And here in Hong Kong, the families are crowded into a very small housing space. So maybe you would sometimes argue with your family, and try to resolve the disagreement with people. This is very important because then you can build strong relationships and keep the commitments you have made. For example. Sometimes maybe you are feeling alone, and you want to feel some comfort. And I think it's important to be able to, if you can ask the people you trust for help, because if you have a bunch of friends, they can listen to you. Then you can release some stress through talking to them. Part two. Listen again and fill in the missing words. I want to talk about beating stress today. You know, life here in Hong Kong is very stressful. So I think today's topic is very useful for everyone because we can do something about it, just to cope with the stress. So maybe you make some changes in your life, maybe big changes or small changes, but instead of being afraid. I think you should have a positive attitude and think of change as a normal part of life. And here in Hong Kong, the families are crowded into a very small housing space. So maybe you would sometimes argue with your family, and try to resolve the disagreement with people. This is very important because then you can build strong relationships and keep the commitments you have made. For example. Sometimes maybe you are feeling alone, and you want to feel some comfort. And I think it's important to be able to, if you can ask the people you trust for help, because if you have a bunch of friends, they can listen to you. Then you can release some stress through talking to them. Test four. Part one: Listen to the passage and choose the correct answer. London Underground is a public transport system connecting central London and the surrounding areas. 
Local people often call the system by its nickname, the tube, because of the shape of the underground tunnel. Built in 1863, it's the oldest underground transport in the world, consisting of only a few lines and a handful of stations in the early 1900s. London Underground nowadays is made up of 270 stations and 11 lines. The total length of more than 400 kilometers makes London Underground the third longest metro system in the world. Despite the name, only 45 percent of the rail line is below the ground. London Underground is a cheap and convenient way to get around London. It's estimated that there are 4.8 million passengers using the system to get to work or go to school each day. Part two. Listen to the passage again and fill in the missing words. London Underground is a public transport system connecting central London and the surrounding areas. Local people often call the system by its nickname, the Tube, because of the shape of the underground tunnel. Built in 1863, it's the oldest underground transport in the world, consisting of only a few lines and a handful of stations in the early 1900s. London Underground nowadays is made up of 270 stations and 11 lines. The total length of more than 400 kilometers makes London Underground the third longest metro system in the world. Despite the name, only 45 percent of the rail line is below the ground. London Underground is a cheap and convenient way to get around London. It's estimated that there are 4.8 million passengers using the system to get to work or go to school each day. Test 5. Part 1. Listen to the talk. Match the activity with its meaning. Let's begin with the S. Scheduling. For example, you don't have to schedule too many things in your day. If you feel you are too busy, you can cut out an activity or two. Next, the T word. Treat your body well, because experts say that exercise can reduce stress, and also, if you eat healthy food, then your brain and body get the nourishment they need. The next word is R, relax. You can do an activity you enjoy or that relaxes you. Maybe you can read a good book or learn a new hobby. Next, E. E is about expectations. Be realistic about yourself. Be true to yourself and others. So you can just do your best and don't try to be perfect and don't expect. Others to be either. The next word is S, sleep. If you get a good night's sleep, then it will keep your mind and your body in shape. Finally, S again. It means smile. If you smile and have confidence, your attitude and your thoughts influence the way you see things. Part two. Listen again and fill in the missing words. Let's begin with the S. Scheduling. For example, you don't have to schedule too many things in your day. If you feel you are too busy, you can cut out an activity or two. Next, the T word. Treat your body well. Because experts say that exercise can reduce stress, and also, if you eat healthy food, then your brain and body get the nourishment they need. The next word is R, relax. You can do an activity you enjoy or that relaxes you. Maybe you can read a good book or learn a new hobby. Next, E, 
E is about expectations. Be realistic about yourself. Be true to yourself and others. So you can just do your best, and don't try to be perfect, and don't expect others to be either. The next word is S, sleep. If you get a good night's sleep, then it will keep your mind and your body in shape. Finally, S again. It means smile. If you smile and have confidence, your attitude and your thoughts influence the way you see things. C. The second forty-five minute test. Test one. Part one. Listen to the passage about how to prepare for a traditional wedding in India. Circle the best way to complete each statement. In India, Hindu wedding traditions vary from state to state. But most families usually make a wedding a huge celebration, which can last for as long as five days or more. It is common for wedding preparations to start a year before the actual date. After a couple gets engaged to be married, the date for the wedding is chosen very carefully based on the bride and groom's birthdays. Two days before the wedding, celebrations begin at the groom's home. This is called. Making the groom, musicians visit his home at four in the morning and play traditional music while the groom's relatives and neighbors come to see him. While there, they make decorations from mango leaves. Next, someone washes the groom with coconut or olive oil. His face is painted with a black dot on each cheek and a spot between his eyes. Then, an older person in the family offers the groom money as a gift. The bride goes through a ceremony before the wedding called making the bride. Her face, arms, hands, and feet are painted attractively by her relatives, leaving her skin a red color. This process takes many hours to do and requires a lot of patience. Part two. Listen to the passage again and complete the answers to the questions with no more than two words or a number. In India, Hindu wedding traditions vary from state to state, but most families usually make a wedding a huge celebration, which can last for as long as five days or more. It is common for wedding preparations to start a year before the actual date. After a couple gets engaged to be married, the date for the wedding is chosen very carefully based on the bride and groom's birthdays. Two days before the wedding, celebrations begin at the groom's home. This is called making the groom. Musicians visit his home at four in the morning and play traditional music while the groom's relatives and neighbors come to see him. While there, they make decorations from mango leaves. Next, someone washes the groom with coconut or olive oil. His face is painted with a black dot on each cheek and a spot between his eyes. Then, an older person in the family offers the groom money as a gift. The bride goes through a ceremony before the wedding called making the bride. Her face, arms, hands, and feet are painted attractively by her relatives, leaving her skin a red color. This process takes many hours to do and requires a lot of patience. Test two, part one. Listen to the passage and answer the questions. My grandmother is more than ninety years old. Which makes her the oldest person in the whole family. Despite her old age, her memory is still fresh. She always tells us that many things were different when she was young. My grandma used to begin her day very early. She used to start a day at four o'clock, 
while everybody was still in bed. She used to do all the housework by herself. She used to make clothes for her children, and as for her outdoor work, she used to raise chickens and sheep. She also used to help the males to grow vegetables. There didn't used to be many pastime activities. Her hobby used to be listening to the radio. In the evening, all the family used to sit by the fire in the sitting room, where all the family gathered at night to tell tales or discuss family matters, such as weddings, harvest time, or to assign the next day's work. When a member of the family was ill, she used to show him which herbs to use. She collected them from the near forest or from the mountain. My grandma used to know so many effective methods to cure illnesses. Part two: Listen again and decide if the following statements are true or false. My grandmother is more than ninety years old. Which makes her the oldest person in the whole family. Despite her old age, her memory is still fresh. She always tells us that many things were different when she was young. My grandma used to begin her day very early. She used to start a day at four o'clock, while everybody was still in bed. She used to do all the housework by herself. She used to make clothes for her children. And as for her outdoor work, she used to raise chickens and sheep. She also used to help the males to grow vegetables. There didn't used to be many pastime activities. Her hobby used to be listening to the radio. In the evening, all the family used to sit by the fire in the sitting room, where all the family gathered at night to tell tales or discuss family matters such as weddings, harvest time. Or to assign the next day's work. When a member of the family was ill, she used to show him which herbs to use. She collected them from the near forest or from the mountain. My grandma used to know so many effective methods to cure illnesses. <music> Test three. <clears throat> Part one. Listen to the passage about Niagara Falls and choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Niagara Falls is the best-known natural wonder in the USA. It is visited by a great number of people from America and abroad than any other place on the continent. Niagara Falls is situated on the Niagara River. Which connects Lake Ontario and Lake Erie between the provinces of Ontario in Canada and the state of New York in the United States. There are really two giant waterfalls divided by a small island. The one in Canada is called Horseshoe Falls, which is 792 meters wide. The other in the United States is called American Falls, and it is 323 meters wide. The smaller Bridal Veil Falls are also located on the American side. Niagara is an Indian word which means roaring waters. Indeed, the roar of the falling water can be heard at a distance of twenty-five kilometers. A mass of water is falling over a cliff fifty-two meters high with a terrible noise. Niagara has a very great power. It can move big rocks and throw them into the waters. People come here to watch nearly a million tons of water pass over the falls every five minutes. No photo or painting can truly show their power and beauty. Part two. Listen to the passage again and decide if the statements are true or false. Niagara Falls is the best-known natural wonder in the USA. 
It is visited by a great number of people from America and abroad than any other place on the continent. Niagara Falls is situated on the Niagara River, which connects Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, between the provinces of Ontario in Canada and the state of New York in the United States. There are really two giant waterfalls divided by a small island. The one in Canada is called Horseshoe Falls, which is 792 meters wide. The other in the United States is called American Falls, and it is 323 meters wide. The smaller Bridal Veil Falls are also located on the American side. Niagara is an Indian word which means roaring waters. Indeed, the roar of the falling water can be heard at a distance of 25 kilometers. A mass of water is falling over a cliff 52 meters high with a terrible noise. Niagara has a very great power. It can move big rocks and throw them into the waters. People come here to watch nearly a million tons of water pass over the falls every five minutes. No photo or painting can truly show their power and beauty. Test 4 Part 1 Listen to the introduction to the significant features of Seoul, Korea. Answer the following questions. Seoul is the largest city in South Korea as well as the political and economic capital. Administratively, Seoul is divided into 25 districts, each with an area and population comparable to a small city. The districts are then further subdivided into 522 subdistricts. The city houses 11.8 million people and the metropolitan area has 25.6 million, which is just over half of the population of South Korea. By some measure, it is the world's second largest urban agglomeration after Tokyo. Seoul, as the capital city of Korea, has a history back to the 14th century. While few historical points of interest remain, most of the temples and palaces are reconstructions, much of Seoul's infrastructure is exceptionally modern and clean. Skyscrapers and high-rises abound. The subway system is the third largest in the world and perhaps one of the finest. In recent years, Seoul has been swamped with tourists from China, Japan and Southeast Asia following the success of Korean pop culture. There is a lot to see and do here. There are nine big parks in the city with a lot of temples and shrines. Coming here, you can go skiing, bet on horse racing and go to a casino and enjoy performing arts. There are also a lot of spas, saunas and massage rooms for you to relax. Part 2. Listen again and fill in the blank with a suitable word or phrase. Seoul is the largest city in South Korea as well as the political and economic capital. Administratively, Seoul is divided into 25 districts, each with an area and population comparable to a small city. The districts are then further subdivided into 522 subdistricts. The city houses 11.8 million people and the metropolitan area has 25.6 million, which is just over half of the population of South Korea. By some measure, it is the world's second largest urban agglomeration after Tokyo. Seoul, as the capital city of Korea, has a history back to the 14th century. While few historical points of interest remain, most of the temples and palaces are reconstructions, 
Much of Seoul's infrastructure is exceptionally modern and clean. Skyscrapers and high-rises abound. The subway system is the third largest in the world and perhaps one of the finest. In recent years, Seoul has been swamped with tourists from China, Japan and Southeast Asia following the success of Korean pop culture. There is a lot to see and do here. There are nine big parks in the city with a lot of temples and shrines. Coming here, you can go skiing, bet on horse racing and go to a casino and enjoy performing arts. There are also a lot of spas, saunas and massage rooms for you to relax. Test 5 Part 1 Listen to the passage carefully, then decide whether the following statements are true or false. When you go to the party in Atlantica, don't bring a gift. If you do so, our hosts will believe that you think they are poor. Never arrive on time in Atlantica. Come one or two hours late because your hosts will not be on time themselves. In Atlantica, all schedules, even airline schedules, run on elastic time. At dinner time, eat only what the hosts serve you. If you ask for something special, the hosts try to get what you want, even if they have to go out to the store that evening. And never look at the other guests while you eat. Instead, look down at your food. Use a spoon for all food, even hard foods like fried meat. Part 2. Listen again and fill in each blank the missing words. When you go to the party in Atlantica, don't bring a gift. If you do so, our hosts will believe that you think they are poor. Never arrive on time in Atlantica. Come one or two hours late because your hosts will not be on time themselves. In Atlantica, all schedules, even airline schedules, run on elastic time. At dinner time, eat only what the hosts serve you. If you ask for something special, the hosts try to get what you want, even if they have to go out to the store that evening. And never look at the other guests while you eat. Instead, look down at your food. Use a spoon for all food, even hard foods like fried meat. D. The first semester tests. Test 1. Part 1. Listen to the passage. Decide if the statements are true or false. Talat has been called the city of flower by tourists. Indeed, thanks for its cool weather all year round, Talat is suitable for planting flowers and having tourists. Dalat is very famous for its flower festival. Dalat's flower festival has been organized every two years since 2005. It occurs regularly at the end of the year. It is also an exclusive tourist product which attracts lots of domestic and foreign tourists. The main stage of this festival is put on the water surface of Zhuang Huang Lake and Lam Vien Square. The shows have the participation of thousands of professional and unprofessional artists. Beside the opening and closing ceremonies, the festival also has some other programs such as flower exhibition fair, flower car march, trade fair and contest of Dalat farmers. The program of flower festival are varied in content for every festival period. These are interesting to tourists and participants as well.
Part 2. Listen to the passage again and fill in each blank the missing words. Talat has been called the city of flower by tourists. Indeed, thanks to its cool weather all year round, Talat is suitable for planting flowers and having tourists. Talat is very famous for its flower festival. Talat Flower Festival has been organized every two years since 2005. It occurs regularly at the end of the year. It is also an exclusive tourist product which attracts lots of domestic and foreign tourists. The main stage of this festival is put on the water surface of Zhuang Huang Lake and Lam Vien Square. The shows have the participation of thousands of professional and unprofessional artists. Besides the opening and closing ceremonies, the festival also has some other programs such as flower exhibition fair, flower car march, trade fair, and contest of the lat farmers. The program of flower festival are varied in content for every festival period. These are interesting to tourists and participants as well. Test two. Part one. Listen to the passage carefully, then decide whether the following statements are true or false. Easter is on a different Sunday each year, but it is always in March or April. Easter is not a national holiday; it is a religious holiday for Christians. For many people, Easter celebrates the beginning of spring. The English word for Easter comes from the Old English word Easter. Easter was the name of the goddess of spring and light. In the spring, flowers bloom and trees become green. The earth wears new clothes. Many people wear new clothes on Easter Sunday too. Eggs and rabbits are new signs of spring and new life. American children believe in an imaginary rabbit, the Easter Bunny. The night before Easter, the Easter Bunny visits many homes. He brings children Easter baskets with eggs and candies. Some Easter eggs are hard-boiled eggs in different colors. Other Easter eggs are chocolate. The Easter Bunny hides eggs in the house or outside in the yard. On Easter morning. Children look for eggs from the Easter Bunny. On Easter Sunday, families often come together for a dinner of ham or lamb, with fresh spring vegetables. Dessert is often cake in the shape of a lamb or a rabbit, and there is plenty of candy from the Easter Bunny. Part two. Listen again and fill in the blank missing words. Easter is on a different Sunday each year, but it is always in March or April. Easter is not a national holiday; it is a religious holiday for Christians. For many people, Easter celebrates the beginning of spring. The English word for Easter comes from the Old English word Easter. Easter was the name of the goddess of spring and light. In the spring, flowers bloom and trees become green. The earth wears new clothes. Many people wear new clothes on Easter Sunday too. Eggs and rabbits are new signs of spring and new life. American children believe in an imaginary rabbit, the Easter Bunny. The night before Easter, the Easter Bunny visits many homes. He brings children Easter baskets with eggs and candies. Some Easter eggs are hard-boiled eggs in different colors. Other Easter eggs are chocolate. The Easter Bunny hides eggs in the house or outside in the yard. On Easter morning, children look for eggs from the Easter Bunny. On Easter Sunday, families often come together for a dinner of ham or lamb with fresh spring vegetables. Dessert is often cake in the shape of a lamb or a rabbit, 
and there is plenty of candy from the Easter Bunny. Test 3, Part 1. Listen to the passage and choose the correct answer, A, B, or C, for the questions. The tram system in Hanoi, then and now. Hanoi had its first tramway in 1900. The tram system was a major means of transport in the city for nine decades, and thus the image of the tram and its clanging sounds have gone deep into the hearts and minds of Hanoians. Since it was convenient and cheap to get around the city and the suburban areas by tram, the system was very popular. However, due to the population boom and the need for a wider road system, the last rail track was removed. Now, after more than 20 years, the population of Hanoi has risen from about 2 million people to more than 6 million people. Therefore, the number of vehicles on the roads has increased dramatically. To meet the increasing travel demands, Hanoi is building a sky train between Kat Ling and Ha Dong. The system is expected to begin operations by 2016 with initial four compartment sky trains. Furthermore, a new rail system including around 8 kilometers of sky train rail and 4 kilometers subway rail connecting Hanoi Central Station and Non has been under construction and is expected to be completed in a few years. Part 2. Listen again and fill in each blank the missing words. The tram system in Hanoi, then and now. Hanoi had its first tramway in 1900. The tram system was a major means of transport in the city for nine decades, and thus the image of the tram and its clanging sounds have gone deep into the hearts and minds of Hanoians. Since it was convenient and cheap to get around the city and the suburban areas by tram, the system was very popular. However, due to the population boom and the need for a wider road system, the last rail track was removed. Now, after more than 20 years, the population of Hanoi has risen from about 2 million people to more than 6 million people. Therefore, the number of vehicles on the roads has increased dramatically. To meet the increasing travel demands, Hanoi is building a sky train between Kat Ling and Ha Dong. The system is expected to begin operations by 2016 with initial four compartment sky trains. Furthermore, a new rail system including around 8 kilometres of sky train rail and 4 kilometres subway rail connecting Hanoi Central Station and Non has been under construction and is expected to be completed in a few years. Test 4 Part 1 Listen to the passage and decide if the statements are true or false. The ancient town of Hoi An lies on the Tu Bon River. 30 kilometers south of Da Nang. It was formerly a major trading center in Southeast Asia between the 16th and 17th centuries. Hoi An is famous for its old temples, pagodas, small tile-roofed houses, and narrow streets. All the houses were made of wood, and their pillars were carved with ornamental designs. All visitors to Hoi An are commended a visit to the assembly hall of Cantonese Chinese congregation. This house was built in 1855 and still keeps many precious objects that belonged to the Chinese community of Hoi An. Another attractive address to tourists is Tan Ki House, which was conducted nearly two centuries ago as the house of a Vietnamese merchant. 
The house now looks almost exactly as it did in the early 19th century. In recent years, Hoi An has become a popular tourist destination in Vietnam. In 1999, it was certified by UNESCO as a World Cultural Heritage Site. Part 2 Listen and fill in the blank missing words. The ancient town of Hoi An lies on the Tu Bon River, 30 kilometers south of Da Nang. It was formerly a major trading center in Southeast Asia between the 16th and 17th centuries. Hoi An is famous for its old temples, pagodas, small tile-roofed houses, and narrow streets. All the houses were made of wood, and their pillars were carved with ornamental designs. All visitors to Hoi An are commended a visit to the assembly hall of Cantonese Chinese Congregation. This house was built in 1855 and still keeps many precious objects that belonged to the Chinese community of Hoi An. Another attractive address to tourists is Tan Ki House, which was conducted nearly two centuries ago as the house of a Vietnamese merchant. The house now looks almost exactly as it did in the early 19th century. In recent years, Hoi An has become a popular tourist destination in Vietnam. In 1999, it was certified by UNESCO as a World Cultural Heritage Site. Test 5 Part 1 Listen to a piece of news on a special mountain market by ethnic groups which is being set up in Hanoi. Complete the table of information by filling each blank with a word or and a number. Ethnic Mountain Market comes to Capital's outskirts. A special mountain market by ethnic groups in the northern province of Dien Bien will be set up on the outskirts of Hanoi. The event will be organised at the Vietnam National Village for Ethnic Culture and Tourism in Son Thê District, 45 kilometres west of Hanoi Centre. Focusing in games and the cuisines of the Mong, Dao, Thai, Muong and Ko Mu ethnic groups will be showcased at the market. Some 40 stalls displaying agricultural products such as wine, fresh vegetables, fruits and roots, as well as handmade embroidery cloth and jewellery made by the people of Dien Bien, Ha Zhang, La Kai and Bak Khan, as well as Hoa Bing and Nye An will be the highlights of the event. Traditional customs, such as the New House Celebration Ceremony of the Ko Mu group, the epic narration of the Mong group and their handicrafts will also be presented. The event will take place from April 30th to May 3rd. Part 2 Listen again and decide if the statements are true or false. Ethnic Mountain Market comes to Capital's outskirts. A special mountain market by ethnic groups in the northern province of Dien Bien will be set up on the outskirts of Hanoi. The event will be organised at the Vietnam National Village for Ethnic Culture and Tourism in Son Thê District, 45 kilometres west of Hanoi Centre. Focusing in games and the cuisines of the Mong, Dao, Thai, Muong and Ko Mu ethnic groups will be showcased at the market. Some 40 stalls displaying agricultural products such as wine, fresh vegetables, fruits and roots, as well as handmade embroidery cloth and jewellery, made by the people of Dien Bien, 
Ha Zhang, La Kai and Bak Khan, as well as Hua Bing and Ye An, will be the highlights of the event. Traditional customs, such as the New House Celebration Ceremony of the Ko Mu group, the epic narration of the Mong group and their handigraphs will also be presented. The event will take place from April 30th to May 3rd. Advance. Test 1. Listen to Kate interviewing Alex about his life in Spain. Are the sentences true or false? Welcome to Change in Places. Today is time to hear about someone who's living in sunny Spain. I'm talking to Alex. Alex comes from Scotland but is living in Spain at the moment. Hola, Alex. Hi. How's life in Spain at the moment? It's good, thanks. Why are you there? Well, my parents both have jobs in Madrid, so we're living here for a year, and I'm going to school here. Madrid is often really warm and sunny, so it's quite different from Scotland. Do you like it, though? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. I'm enjoying the good weather, and I really like the outdoor lifestyle people do everything outdoors here. There's a beautiful park near my school, and my friends and I go there every day at lunchtime. I'm really interested in languages, too, so I'm learning Spanish. Oh, are you learning quickly? I think I'm doing okay. Do you have a lot of friends at school? Yes, I do. I miss my friends at home, but I also love my Spanish friends. They're really confident and lively. They're all great at football, too. Thanks for talking to us, Alex. Part 2 Listen to the passage and fill in the blank the missing words. Education has been the first priority of my life. And I think city life can offer a great support in terms of offering a vast choice of good institutions that one may like to choose for the higher studies. I like city life because of the diversity of things you can do. For example, job opportunities are better in the cities. So, if you are a city dweller, you don't have to leave your home in search of better work opportunities. You will be able to earn a livelihood and be by the side of your family simultaneously. This was probably the biggest reason I never could go against the city life. Test 2 Part 1. Listen to an interview with Grace about her text-a-friend service. Are the sentences true or false? So, can you tell us a little bit about the text-a-friend service? Yes, it's a special text help service for students who are having a hard time. School can be very difficult sometimes, and it's hard to know who to talk to and where to go for help. So, I started the text-a-friend idea for students with problems like these. Why did you start the service? Well, a year ago, I was having a really hard time at school. I was having a lot of problems and I wasn't finding them very easy to deal with. Falling out with my best friend, getting bad grades in all my tests, I just didn't know what to do. So what did you do? Well, a classmate helped me. I didn't know her very well, but she could see I was feeling really upset and unhappy. We spoke about what I could do to make things better. I wanted to help people who were having problems like me. I wanted them to know that there were people who could help them. 
Can anyone use this service? Yes, absolutely anyone. Students of all ages can have problems. It doesn't matter if you're new to a school or you've been there for years. People can have problems at any time. Part 2. Listen to the passage and fill in the blank missing words. Located between the lake of the restored sword, the Long Bien Bridge, a former city rampart, and a citadel wall, the old quarter started as a snake and alligator infested swamp. It later evolved into a cluster of villages made up of houses on stilts before being unified. Hanoi's old quarter came into being at the time King Lai Tai selected Tanglong as the country's capital in 1010. What makes the streets unique is that many of them remain in their variation architecture of the 15th century. Up to now, it has been the oldest continuously developed area of Vietnam. Due to their long-lasting age, they are called Old Quarter, or 36 Old Streets, as consisting of 36 member streets. Hanoi's 36 districts is Vietnam's version of the guild concept. In the past, as artisans moved to the capital city to do business, they gathered together in this area to share the resources. As a result, many of the streets were named after the crafts sold at that individual street. Test 3. Part 1. Listen to a man talking about fancy pan. Decide if the following statements are true or false. Fancy Pan is the tallest mountain in Vietnam, as well as the entire area of Indochina, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. The summit reaches a height of 10,312 feet, or 3,143 meters. It is nicknamed the Roof of Indochina. There is a mountain at the summit celebrating the ascent. Fancy Pan is in the northwest region of the country. It is found in the Lao Cai province in the Huang Lian Son mountain range. Climbing the mountain is challenging, featuring a fairly steep ascent. Although it technically can be climbed with a descent in a single day, it is hard to find a tour company to take on that plan. The majority of ascents of Fancy Pen are two to three days, with two days being the more common. There is a small village found near 4,920 feet, or 1,500 meters, where rest and securing food can happen. Another opportunity for camping overnight occurs at 9,190 feet, or 2,800 meters. The cost of the tour and ascent of the mountain usually includes the fees associated with using the facilities. The country frequently experiences rain and sunshine is common as well. The weather usually consists of high humidity. December through March can result in cold temperatures for the northern mountain area where Fancy Pen is located. July and August are the monsoon seasons with hot and humid weather conditions. This is probably the best time to visit the northern mountain area for warmer temperatures for trekking up the mountain. Part 2. Listen again and answer the questions below. Fancy Pan is the tallest mountain in Vietnam, as well as the entire area of Indochina, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. The summit reaches a height of 10,312 feet, or 3,143 meters. It is nicknamed the Roof of Indochina. There is a mountain at the summit celebrating the ascent. 
Fancy Pan is in the northwest region of the country. It is found in the Lao Cai province in the Huang Lian Sun mountain range. Climbing the mountain is challenging, featuring a fairly steep ascent. Although it technically can be climbed with a descent in a single day, it is hard to find a tour company to take on that plan. The majority of ascents of Fancy Pan are two to three days, with two days being the more common. There is a small village found near 4,920 feet, or 1,500 meters, where rest and securing food can happen. Another opportunity for camping overnight occurs at 9,190 feet, or 2,800 meters. The cost of the tour and ascent of the mountain usually includes the fees associated with using the facilities. The country frequently experiences rain and sunshine is common as well. The weather usually consists of high humidity. December through March can result in cold temperatures for the northern mountain area where Fancy Pan is located. July and August are the monsoon seasons. With hot and humid weather conditions, this is probably the best time to visit the northern mountain area for warmer temperatures for trekking up the mountain. Test four. Part one. Listen to the passage and decide if the following statements are true or false. Van Fuch Sil Village is situated on the banks of Nue Tsi River, Nuen Chai Road, and Hardong City, eight kilometers southwest of Hanoi. It takes you only thirty minutes by motorbike to go there from the center of Hanoi. The village has been much well known for its traditional sericulture, weaving, and silk products. Tourists coming here are lured by the various beautiful shirts, crafts, ties, dresses, and many other things made of silk available in the village. What is special is that the silk is made by very simple looms, which is the genuinely traditional Vietnamese way of making silk. For centuries, silk has always been considered an extreme luxury with rhinoceros horn. Ivory and precious handworks in Vietnam. It has long been a universal byword of luxury, often worn by the richest, most powerful citizens. Today, the fine and lustrous cloth that originates from the cocoon of the silkworm is more affordable for ordinary folk. Furthermore, silk is currently enjoying a fashion renaissance. Particularly, since its many varieties can be made into a wide range of designs suitable for all facets of modern life. With two thousand years of history behind them, the silk weavers of Van Fuch Sil Village are still busy weaving dreams. Part two. Listen again and fill in the missing words. Van Fuch Sil Village is situated on the banks of Nue Tsi River, Nuen Chai Road, and Hardong City, eight kilometers southwest of Hanoi. It takes you only thirty minutes by motorbike to go there from the center of Hanoi. The village has been much well known for its traditional sericulture, weaving, and silk products. Tourists coming here are lured by the various beautiful shirts, crafts, ties, dresses, and many other things made of silk available in the village. What is special is that the silk is made by very simple looms, which is the genuinely traditional Vietnamese way of making silk. For centuries, silk has always been considered an extreme luxury with rhinoceros horn, ivory, and precious handworks in Vietnam. It has long been a universal byword of luxury, often worn by the richest, most powerful citizens. Today, the fine and lustrous cloth that originates from the cocoon of the silkworm 
is more affordable for ordinary folk. Furthermore, silk is currently enjoying a fashion renaissance, particularly since its many varieties can be made into a wide range of designs suitable for all facets of modern life. With 2,000 years of history behind them, the silk weavers of Van Fuchs Silk Village are still busy weaving dreams. Test 5, Part 1 Listen to the passage and decide whether the following statements are true or false. Perfume Pagoda is a religious site as well as being a great sightseeing spot in Vietnam. It is situated in Huang San Commune, Mi Duc District, Hanoi. It is a vast complex of Buddhist temples and shrines, including Den Trin, Presentation Shrine, and Tien Tru, Heaven Kitchen Pagoda, in them Huang Tik Mountains. The center of this complex is the Perfume Temple also called Chua Chong, Inner Temple, located in Huam Tik Cavern. It is thought that the first temple was built on the current site of Tian Tru in the 15th century during the reign of Lei Tain Tom. Over the years, some of its structures which were in ruins have been restored or replaced. Many Vietnamese works of literature, both old and modern, have made Perfume Pagoda their focus. It has also provided backdrops for many famous paintings. Its beauty has been used as a theme of many famous songs and a topic of lyric poetry. Nowadays, during its festival, from the middle of January to the middle of March on the lunar calendar, Perfume Pagoda attracts large numbers of pilgrims from all over Vietnam. Part 2. Listen again and fill in the missing words. Perfume Pagoda is a religious site as well as being a great sightseeing spot in Vietnam. It is situated in Huang San Commune, Mi Duc District, Hanoi. It is a vast complex of Buddhist temples and shrines, including Den Trin, Presentation Shrine, and Tien Tru, Heaven Kitchen Pagoda, in them Huang Tik Mountains. The center of this complex is the Perfume Temple, also called Chua Chong, Inner Temple, located in Huam Tik Cavern. It is thought that the first temple was built on the current site of Tien Tru in the 15th century during the reign of Lei Tain Tom. Over the years, some of its structures which were in ruins have been restored or replaced. Many Vietnamese works of literature, both old and modern, have made Perfume Pagoda their focus. It has also provided backdrops for many famous paintings. Its beauty has been used as a theme of many famous songs and a topic of lyric poetry. Nowadays, during its festival, from the middle of January to the middle of March on the lunar calendar, Perfume Pagoda attracts large numbers of pilgrims from all over Vietnam.